Okay, I've had this ongoing test now uh, for a few months. Um, this cell here has been running for four months now. And I've got these up on my uh, live video feed uh, stream on my website, laserhacker.com. But what I wanted to do is just to uh, show how to build this circuit. This is a very efficient, probably the most efficient uh, circuit I've found for uh, testing a crystal cell with. So, just going to give a quick overview on that. Um, it's been blinking away here for four months now in this cell, and if I turn the pot up, you can see that I can crank it up to full light intensity still. But I just let it run along here at a lower rate. So yeah, I just I post a quick video just showing how to build that. Uh, you can build this for just a couple bucks. It's basically a uh, super efficient uh, low power jewel ringer type uh, circuit. Okay, so here I have the one that's been running uh, for the last four months and then here I have the one that I'll be uh, showing you guys all how to build. This is really easy to build. Um, all I have here is an electric lit electrolytic uh, capacitor, a ceramic capacitor, one transistor, the ferrite. I'll show you the uh, I'll give source to all of these parts on my website laserhacker.com um, I've got a pot here so I can adjust it. This one over here is running on this uh, ring. This is a copper uh, pipe cut down to a ring. Uh, spacer with some paper and one wrap of uh, magnesium foil around that ring. And you can see that that one's uh, running over here just fine. I'll turn it up. So you can see that one's running. Here's the one that's been running for the last four months. I'll turn that one up as well. And we'll look inside of this here. So you can see that I have the ferrite, the pot. I just put it in this uh, nice little box. But the ones I'll be showing how to build um, will actually uh, not be in a project enclosure like that. But yeah, for a couple bucks you can build up one of these and you can test uh, crystal cells or earth batteries or anything that you want to test uh, with a super efficient LED driving circuit. Okay, I'm just going to show the uh, power draw here on this little uh, circuit. Uh, when it's running. So I've got my power supply set at 1.7 uh, volts and you can uh, see it blinking along here. I'm pulling between 0 and 3 to 4 micro amps. So you can see the reason uh, this circuit's ideal for uh, using on crystal cells because it <laughs> almost nothing on the uh, amp draw you can actually uh, get your LED light blinking. So this is probably the most efficient circuit I've ever uh, figured out how to build, at least out of uh, off-the-shelf parts. So anyway, I just thought I'd point out the uh, low current draw on the circuit here before we build it. I'll go ahead and turn the uh, pot up here a little bit so you can see. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, toroid here. This is just a ferrite from Electronic Gold Mine. Uh, I'll go ahead and post the exact part a number and a link to order this on laserhacker.com but basically to start with all we have to do is take these two uh, leads here bend them toward each other and then we will solder a little a piece of wire between these points okay so that's uh, soldered you want to go do something just like that that will be the uh, positive uh, connection uh, to our circuit okay so taking our uh, transistor here which is a uh, uh, NPN transistor I'll give the exact uh, part link and a reference on my uh, website. But anyway, let's bend each leg out. So basically you can see the, uh, the angles there. And there's a little uh, indicator here on the uh, housing. So that will be a point of reference. So what we'll do is we'll take this, um, this little edge here and we'll point it down uh, to this leg here and we'll solder that onto there. Again, I'll provide reference pictures so you can uh, make sure that you build this uh, correctly on my website. But um, just follow along with the video for now. Okay, so now that we have this uh, <clears throat> transistor leg uh, soldered on here, we want to point the other one down toward this open lead over here and we want to take an electrolytic capacitor. I'll give exact uh, part uh, reference and links to order. This is a um, Excuse me, let me just get the uh, specs on this. This is a 16 volt, uh, 10 uh, microfarad, 
10 UF uh, capacitor here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, solder the positive leg of this electrolytic capacitor onto here and we will uh, solder the negative leg onto this uh, part of the transistor right up here. So, okay, so now you should have something uh, like this. Now what, all we need to uh, solder between uh, these points is a uh, ceramic uh, capacitor. And uh, again, I'll have the complete parts list on laserhacker.com, so check it out. Alright, we will connect it right here. Okay, so now it's time to attach the uh, LED. We're basically done with the circuit. Again, like I said, very simple. Um, we take the LED, and again, I'll post the link for this LED, because this is the best LED I've found for uh, doing experiments like this. And it comes from Radio Shack, and I'll give a part number and link. But anyway, we, there's a short leg and a long leg, and the short leg goes to the negative and the long to the positive. So basically, we take the short leg, we're going to solder it on here with the uh, negative lead of our electrolytic capacitor, and we'll solder the long leg on down here. So, okay, so now we're basically done. Uh, we'll hook this up to power and try this out here in just a second. Let me just point out uh, one essential thing. You can either put a, a resistor across this point, uh, right here by the electrolytic cap, but I'm going to hook up a pot here so that we can be adjustable. And I'll give the part number to uh, this pot as well on my uh, website, laserhacker.com, but we're going to attach one of it, one lead to this side and one to this side. So we're going to bridge between the, uh, lecture, or between the ceramic capacitor here. And that will give us the ability to uh, adjust this to get different current draw. So now let's hook it up to power and uh, see how it works. Okay, so for hooking this up to power, basically we just uh, power it across the electrolytic here. So we'll connect our uh, negative uh, to the negative lead of this electrolytic capacitor. We'll connect our positive to the positive lead of that. Now that we're uh, connected, we have power. You can see it blinking, and right now I'm drawing about two microamps. So this is a completed circuit. Um, the pot here allows you to uh, control that all the way up to drawing around a milliamp or crank it back off and just draw in the microamp range but I really encourage uh, folks to experiment with the circuit it works great for uh, hooking up with the crystal cells and doing some really uh, prolonged run testing because it does draw so little current so hope you enjoyed this video um, again, this really simple circuit. I'll list all the parts on my website, laserhacker.com. Um, I'll list everything you need to uh, build this little guy up. But what's cool about the circuit is all the uh, parts can come right off the shelf, and you can make a super efficient uh, jewel ringer uh, with off-the-shelf parts with this. So my next uh, video, I hope to show how to build the uh, super uh, jewel ringer, like I have lighting the LEDs at my workshop. Uh, with off-the-shelf parts and components. But just thought I'd get this little guy out there first. Hope you all enjoy. Alright, let's keep experimenting.